Hey guys, what's up? It's Dan here. Now, I know this is extremely late, uh, you know, this happened a while ago, I'm like, I don't know, what was it? I think it's, uh, like two weeks ago, but, uh, I've been busy and I haven't been able to put this up, but, uh, I did want to address my thoughts on this issue, and if you guys, um, are hockey fans, or even if you just watch the news, you'll know that, um, well, in the Stanley Cup Finals between, uh, the Boston Bruins and the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, the Canucks got destroyed in, in the last little bit. They were doing well in the first few games. I think they won. I think the what was it? The first three in a row or first two? I don't remember. But then they then Boston just took it the rest of the way. But uh, that's not really what was the issue. The biggest issue was uh, the fans. The fans of this you know this team um, of Vancouver. Uh, well, you knew it was going to happen, like, anyways. And there were huge riots that broke out following the, the, the game. Now, the thing is, you got to, if you're hosting a Stanley Cup final in Canada, you bet your ass that, and your team's in it, I mean, you bet your ass there's going to be a riot whether you win or lose. Now, if you're winning, it's going to be a little better. But if you, but the Canucks lost. They were shut out four to, four to nothing, which is pretty crazy, but, now, the reason I'm bringing this up now, uh, that I didn't do a dance sauce on it earlier, was because, well, like I said, I, I've been pretty busy doing things, and I never really looked into the footage of the riots. Yeah, I saw pictures, but that was about it. But I've been, I was looking at this video, and I, I, I'm watching videos, and I'm like, who the fuck are these guys? You know what I mean? Like, what, what makes this type of person? What type makes a person do do things? like this, you know what I mean, like, in Canada, most of us are very friendly, like, a lot of us are, and, but there's always just one thing that occurs that makes everyone look like a total dickweed, and congratulations to Vancouver Canucks fans over there, who, well, the thing is, a lot of people were saying the Canucks, the people who just trashed everything were not, were, you know, not real fans, they were just assholes, well, that's partially true, I'll bet you, what happened was there were people who started it who were just causing trouble on purpose uh, to get people going, and in that so, the fans followed suit. Now, anyways, as I'm watching these videos, I'm, I'm getting more and more pissed off. Not, like, because, like, obviously it's not really affecting me, because I'm in Edmonton, and obviously people who watch the game here, honestly, the funny thing is about Edmonton fans, they're so wishy-washy, like, I think most of the people I, I knew and talked to were, were hoping for Boston to win, which was pretty hilarious. I mean, I didn't really care. You know, because if, if the Oilers are in it, then that's that's when I care. But other than that, I'm not much of a hockey fan. But anyways, I'm watching these videos, and like I said, I'm getting more and more pissed off. Because I see these stupid fucking idiots just come around and throw shit through people's, like, businesses, their windows, everything just getting trashed. And, I, and I, if, like, honestly, it made me want to go there, knock the living fucking piss out of these guys, and, like, you know, show them teach him a lesson, like, I even saw this one video where, this fucking idiot, like, you got, like, I knew the car was gonna get fucked, it was, uh, I think, it, it looked like a brand new, uh, it was a BMW, I can't remember what kind, but it was a BMW, parked downtown Vancouver, where all this was going on, and this one guy jumps up on the hood, jumps off it, then this other fucking clown picks up a mail, like, you know, like a box, or whatever, you know, like, where the newspapers are from, picks up that, starts throwing it through the window, who the fuck are you? Like, what do you think you're doing? You, you, you think you can just break someone's fucking window like that and smash the shit out of their car? I mean, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care who lost. You don't do that fucking shit. And honestly, this does piss me off. And uh, I would have done this earlier, guys. I really would. I know it's super late. But honestly, I'm venting now because I just saw these videos and because I, uh, I was busy. So that's the thing. But the whole time, I'm looking at these fucking idiots, and these cops are doing a bang-up job. But the problem is with the cops, if I were a cop there, I wouldn't even give a shit. I'd be beating the fuck out of them with everything I could find. I'd be taking my billy club, smacking them in the fucking head, punching them in the fucking throat. I wouldn't care. Like, it, those people just, just looking, seeing what they were doing to other people and other people's belongings and, and property, it just drove me, drove me off the wall, you guys. Like, I was... I was just infuriated. I'm pissed off right now at these people. Like, who the fuck are you? And then you get these, a couple people turn themselves in. Um, I remember reading this one thing where this kid, I, I don't know, teenager, teenager, like 18, 19, 20, something like that, 
He's writing a huge apology letter, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm so sorry, so sorry. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. You're not sorry. If you were, you'd be helping these people clean up instead of writing a letter of apology. I'd be doing that. I would never do that. I would never destroy my own city, especially a city that I love. And I love my own city. Yes, there's shit here, but never would I ever break someone else's, like, window. Would I steal things? Would I start fires? Like, who the fuck are you? You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of uh, people who don't live in, you know, Canada, obviously you're not going to really look at this as much, because in Canada, this is kind of a big deal, because we, we don't, we're not too crazy in terms of crimes. Yeah, we do have them, obviously, just like every nation has, has crime. But ours is significantly lower than other nations, because we're more of a, a friendly place. But there's a lot of... There's a lot of assholes, trust me, I know. There's tons of them. And I try not to, I try to be one of the people who are not. And I am not one of those people. I just can't be. It just sickens me to see that kind of thing. But I honestly don't know what would make people do this. If, if your team lost, suck it up, fuckers. Suck it up. Because honestly, you are, make, you not only make yourselves look bad, but you make the rest of the, the country look bad. And I will not stand for that shit. You're bringing us down because you're stupid fucking shit. Oh, I bet on a hockey game. I lost money. You made the bet. You, like, how the hell could you be that much of a fan of something that you'll break shit? Like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, give me a break. This is, it's pathetic. These people, like, I, this one guy in the video, the way he was acting, you know, this one dude's just saying, okay, guys, you got to get out of here in like 10 minutes. This, you know, the owners, this, that, and the other thing. And then this fucking idiot throws this giant thing through the window. And he runs off. I would have followed his ass, beat the living piss out of him, like just I made him get like, fuck the tear gas. He'd be in the hospital for for a batter for like fucking getting beaten the shit out of him. I, I mean seriously, it just pisses me off to see that. And honestly, I didn't realize how serious it was until I saw this footage. I only saw photos. I saw in the newspaper. I'm like, what? That happened? What the fuck, man? What 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 the hell? Uh, and I always saw minor things, but when you're there, you feel for the people. Like, that's some guy's car that you just flipped and burned. That's, that, that's coming out of his pocket. It's his property. I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of people have insurance, and that's what insurance is for. I mean, obviously, I have insurance, too, for that, because you never know. But uh, just the very thought of somebody, if someone did that to my car, like, I love my belongings, okay? Uh, if you're a guy and you have a vehicle, the vehicle means the royalty. That's just the way it is, Okay. So it hurts you deeply when, if something happened to your car like that, if someone, if, if someone jumped up on my car and smashed it through the window and scraped it, flipped it and burned it, that guy's dead. I don't fucking care. He's getting killed by my hand. I would beat the shit out of him, let me tell you. So I just, it's things like that just bug me. And then this whole situation just made, oh man, I don't know. I know it's, it's the 29th today, and this is kind of old news, like, honestly, this was mid-June, it's the end of June now, but, god damn it, I had to vent. I wish, I really wish I could go over there, beat the fuck out of every single one of those guys. Like, I wouldn't even care, maybe, I don't, I don't know. But that's just my opinion. I know I'm yelling here, but you guys, this is serious, I don't know. I just think it's ridiculous, but if you look at the bright side of things now, Yes, time's passed. People have settled down. You know, the city's cleaning up really well. I mean, it is a really nice city. If you've never been to Vancouver, I do suggest you go. I've been there a few times myself. I was actually considering moving there uh, for school, but I haven't made that full decision yet. But uh, if, uh, if people like that are in the city, I don't know. It kind of makes me not want to go there anymore. But the thing is, those are idiots, and those aren't the real fans. Those are just dicks starting trouble because you got guys with... Uh, bandanas over their faces, who they, they think they're gangster, they're all white ass motherfuckers, and you just want to go in, grab him by his neck, throw him through a fucking, like, brick wall, then watch him get up and loot shit after that, like, it boggles my mind, guys, I don't know, this, it just caught me deep seeing that type of stuff, because I always picture myself getting it done to me when that stuff happens, and I'm just, my little look on my face, when I was watching these videos, I was just like, you know, like, I was getting really pissed off. I'm actually still pretty pissed off. I couldn't believe it. If I saw the footage back then, I probably would have stopped the playthrough, made this video to share these thoughts with you, because that is just ridiculous. Now, I don't know, if anybody's from Vancouver or BC or in Canada, whatever, you'll know what I mean. You probably understand what I'm feeling. So, I want you guys to let me know what you think of the situation. Even the Americans who, uh, uh, who may not know too much about the, what goes on, so... If you, anybody who knows anything, you want to leave your comments on this, please let me know, because I would love to hear from you guys, 
because this is just a really sensitive subject for me. Well, not a sensitive subject, but just, like, you get this stupid shit, like, the people apologizing, you know, and you just want to say, yeah, you're not sorry, you know what, uh, I'm, I'm going to be sorry pretty soon. For what? Because I'm going to beat the fuck out of you in two seconds for doing this stupid shit and ruining a perfectly good city and a perfectly good city's reputation. That's what probably hurts more. So, that's what I think. And then you got these morons taking pictures. Or oh, look at me, I just torched this car. Look at me, I have the evidence in my hands. I have my face in the picture, full face picture. I have this. Oh, but don't worry, we'll keep it for ourselves. No, man, don't worry about it. Let's tweet it. Let's put it up on YouTube. Let's put it up on Facebook. They did that. I'm not even kidding. So, I don't know how many people got arrested, but it's probably, I bet your guys', your guys asses are getting pretty damn raw in jail, aren't they? Don't drop the soap, but even if you did, there's so many you wouldn't even know. You just They'd be sticking their dicks up in everywhere they could find. So, they're getting what they deserve, and there's people who, are, who haven't been arrested who should because they're stealing, doing all this other shit that I just cannot stand. So, if I ever see one of you fuckers do that in my city, I will personally take it upon myself to go out there, beat the shit out of you. Don't you fucking do it. Even if... And more importantly, don't touch my car. You touch my car, oh boy, you will not be happy. Let me assure you, you'd be fucking toast. I wouldn't even care if you're bigger, stronger, a ripped dude. I don't care. I'll take what I've got and beat the fuck out of you. Okay? So, let me know what you guys think. I'm sorry for this is a long rant, but I had to say something. Let me know what you think. Comment. And do all that lovely, you know, stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I apologize for this being so late, but it had to be said. So, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.